Right, so now we've basically done the complete jailbreak and we've actually loaded Cydia. What's next is we've uh, installed a couple of applications uh, from the actual iPhone itself. And uh, one of the applications was a VNC server, which is exactly what I'm going to now use to actually connect to that phone. And uh, that will then give me the manageability of the phone from a remote connection. So on the phone, it prompts us if we want to accept an incoming connection. And as you can see, I accepted that incoming connection. And this is the apps that I've got running on the phone now. And uh, if we just go along to the next page, and we just use the almost like a mouse pointer to move it across. And there we have Cydia. So we're going to run Cydia again. So you can see the application that we have installed here. So whenever connecting to Cydia, it goes along and actually double checks to see if it needs to be updated. So there's the Cydia installed and uh, we can go along, look at the different sections. And uh, if we go along to the actual sections, it will give you the packages in a category like look. So uh, let's just move down that line. Some of the ones that you want to definitely look at installing will be the security ones, the Metasploit, the different networking utilities. So uh, if I go along back down to the actual security theme, there's one that's system, networking, and on the networking, as you can see, I've got quite a few there. It all depends on obviously what you do, but from a specific network point of view, security point of view, you want to look at installing the INET utils. There's a proxy server. There's also a um, basic DNS responder, links older, better console, web browser, very, very old, Minicom, MyFox, NetTalk, NGrep, and uh, Safari download plugin. So you can download from Safari, the Safari tab closer, Slurp, which is your PPP slip, terminal emulator, Socks. Stumbler Plus, this is for scanning for wireless networks. And uh, when you want to install something, you just go along, select it, and then click on the install button. And it will ask us to confirm. And then we'll go along and actually install after we've selected to confirm. So that's finished installing. We'll then choose to return. And we can go back to networking. There's S Tunnel, so wraps your connection with SSL support. TCP Dump, a very well known network dumping tool. There's a tethering pro program. There is WGET, so HTTP file transfer client. Uh, what IP will show you what IP address you have. Who is for querying who is servers. Proxy. And uh, that's about it. Now the one I was actually looking for is not coming up. So what we'll find is if we go to the changes, that's going to actually show us what are some of the new changes. And then if we click on manage, we can look at what, what source packages we have installed. And so uh, this will give you enough of an uh, overview as to what applications we have installed. And if we go further down, we can see there's a couple of different uh, add-on packages there. There's the dev team, there's grep, GNU guard, iPhone firmware, LZMA utilities, there's the Metasploit, my trace route, netcat, ARP, uh, ifconfig, netstat, nmap, PAM, and this is an excellent one that uh, is becoming very, very popular, the PDA net. So that allows your device to do the tethering, but it's not just on a proxy. It's actually setting up your device like a wireless access point. So it's very straightforward to go along and follow the install and then setting the PDA net up as a router. So uh, as you can see, we've installed quite a few there. We, let's say, might want to add a shell, a remote command prompt, so that we can actually launch it from with almost like a GUI command. So uh, let's go along to search and we'll just search on shell. 
and as you can see there's the born again shell so it's come up with this is a console package and we can then see that that's installed already but we want one that's going to give us a shortcut so uh, if we go further down let's look at the Z shell and uh, if you want more information on it if you just go along down to the bottom a lot of times it actually has a link there that um, says more info about so uh, let's go along and install the shell Uh, also, just to take note of there, folks, you still have your App Store, which is your original Apple Mac, and that works just as it did before. So uh, no changes on that front. I hope you enjoyed this demo. We'll be back with more.